Grant, thank you. The 104th race to Mackinac is in the books, going down as one of the fastest and safest on record. Among the winners, an Illinois crew who dropped out of the race last year to help search for the boat that flipped over in severe weather. NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski is here now with their story. Charlie? Well, Allison, it is one of the most prestigious and competitive yacht races in the world. But when another boat is in trouble, Mack racers will stop to help. That's what happened last year when one boat capsized in severe weather. Now that one boat is the winner of this year's Mackinac Cup. With the wind going to the west tomorrow, we don't want to necessarily be east of the run line when that happens. Clear sailing this year for the Rialto Namara. This video was recorded by the crew as they led the pack in the 2012 race for the Mackinac Cup. A far cry from last year when the same crew recorded these violent storms along the course. Weather that capsized a 35-foot boat called the Wing Nuts. We noticed a boat approaching us that had a spotlight. They explained to us what was going on. At that point is where we decided to, to drop out of the race and, and uh, help with the uh, search. Sailors Mark Morley and Suzanne Bickle were trapped under the boat and lost their lives. Other crew members were able to escape. Driver down. This year, the Rialto Namara was back with a smaller crew and better weather behind her. Greg Al manned the cameras and the sails. But at one point, we did put up one of our sails that was in the storm and realized it was blown out a bit. So we switched immediately to another spinnaker. That spinnaker and years of skill were enough to carry the Springfield-based boat to victory in its class. Well, we felt that we were doing very well last year until the storm hit. So it was a little, good, a little bit of good karma we felt. The win in the world's longest freshwater race is appreciated by first-time racer Tom Londrigan. We talked to him by Skype. Karma from last year uh, helped us this year and in, uh, in our success this year. The race committee did a great job with safety preparations for all the crew, for all the sailors, and every single boat that started the race finished safely, and that's, we think that was the most important part. And the skipper of the route, Namara, isn't resting on his laurels. Less than a week after his win in the MAC, he is back in the water competing in the Ugata Regatta in Michigan. Charlie Vorchin, Husky, NBC 5 News.